All right, what is going on, ladies and gents? Heal men. I had a plan. I had a plan, and it was a great plan. And then that plan was foiled, because as per usual, what was a great idea on paper in my brain did not translate to becoming a great idea execution-wise. I tried, it just didn't work. So basically, we're here. Obviously, as you can see, the character select icon is on Akihiko. The game plan was, essentially we all know my feelings on this game, there's no point in getting into them, but I came to the conclusion that essentially because I did not like how this game was designed, I was not going to find a character within that design that I particularly enjoyed playing. So screw trying to find the character that I like playing. Let's use the character that is going to improve me the most as a fighting game player. And that character was a very easy decision to make, Akihiko. For three main reasons. He would teach me how to hit confirm properly, he would teach me proper neutral, and he would teach me to be patient. Because all three of those things are vital to make- that's why this character is a top tier character. If you don't hit confirm properly and maximize your damage off of every single situation with this character, he sucks. Bottom tier. It's- he's terrible if you are not maximizing every single hit you get. Same thing like with new, with his neutral game. If you're just rushing in like what I've been doing and you're just mashing on buttons coming in, you're never going to get a hit. It's too obvious. It's too easy to counter it because he has no range. And so everything about this character to make him the character that he actually is at his height, at his highest potential requires effort, requires an investment in the game that I just don't have. So... Yes, he. W if I was invested in this game, and I wanted to play this game, and I wanted to get better at this game, Akihiko would be perfect, because he would teach me everything that basically I've been lazy about, for a variety of reasons. But, there's no desire there to actually be any good at this game. And so, you know, if, there's, if I'm not going to want to be good at this game, I'm not going to get good with this character and actually see any improvement. Because, the, I mean, just bluntly told, this game is just a holdover until Guilty Gear XR comes out. For me and for a lot of other people that I've seen. It's just, okay, we'll play this game for a month and a half, then Guilty Gear XR comes out and we'll forget about it. This is how it's going to be, unfortunately. I know some people like this game. Obviously, you're going to have people on every side of the argument. But from what I've seen, most people are on the side of, eh, it's a fun little time waster, but it's not really going to last. And that's how I am. So I'm just waiting for Guilty Gear XR to come out, and I'm just, just you know, thinking... Okay, how can I actually, if I do continue to play this game, how can I maximize uh, my time? How can I get the most efficiency out of my time? And then, again, like I said, sounded like a great idea on paper. Then I actually tried to play some matches with him, and I was like, no, no. Don't care enough to put in the effort necessary to actually get to the point where I can be good with this character. Don't care anymore. So now I need to decide who I want to use. If I want to use anybody, I just, I don't know. It's all up in limbo. I know nothing. I know nothing at this time. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes in the future. Um, but basically, I actually did want to talk about these two characters. Previously, I had stated, I believe Sho was better than Minazuki. It was a very close race. I didn't really have, like, I wasn't, you know, saying, absolutely, there is no argument to be had here. Sho is without debate significantly better than Minazuki. You know, it was very tight. And I was like, yeah, I just kind of feel like Sho's better than Minazuki for a variety of reasons. Now I have come to completely reverse that decision for one reason and one reason only. He has no jump cancelable normal. So see, if you look at my inputs, I'm just holding up afterwards right now, right? No jump canceling whatsoever there. That's his 5C. There's no jump canceling. Only his 5A is jump cancelable. So you could do like, eh, 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 jump. Or you, eh, 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 jump. That's the most you get. Minazuki, however, they share, for those of you that may not be aware, they share five, all of their A and B buttons are exactly the same. Well, they look exactly the same. I don't actually know if the frame data is any different. They might be, but I don't think they are. I know at least their 5A and their 2As both have the same amount of startup. 9 frames for the 5A, 7A for the 2A, 7A, 7 frames for the 2A, because they have the slowest A buttons in the game. Um, but so anyway, so as you saw, I just held up, right? Holding up. Didn't even get to the second hit. Now let's get let's get to the second hit. Oh, that's jump cancelable too. 
Oops, my bad. Oh, look, that's jump cancelable. Oh, look, that's jump cancelable too. Why? I have no idea why they made it like that, because this character has a more effective neutral game. Thanks, to, I don't actually know how to... Oh, okay, I see. So, regular ones swing from there, and then those will swing from behind the opponent. I see, I get it. Look at that, I'm already a master of this character, and I think that's his teleport. Yep, and then that's his... Oh my god, I can play this character already. <laughs> but, it's just because of that jump cancelable shit. And so some of you may be thinking, the fuck's so important about jump cancelable normals? So, with show, essentially the moment I transition from an A button into a B button, everything I do after that point can be DP. There are tiny gaps in there where if I don't just stop and hold down back, I can be DP'd out of it. If I can, if you, if I try to continue pressure from, well, in, unless I just transition. Oops, not that. Oh, that's right. He doesn't have the records. Wait, no. Yes, he does. Oh, he just doesn't. Wait a minute. That's bullshit. He doesn't even have to charge that shit. What? He gets quarter circle forward, and I have to charge. Fuck this game. Are you? So I am. So I have never been more angry at anything in my life. Why do I have to charge that shit? And this motherfucker can just corner like a fart it. That's bullshit. That actually, that like really actually legitimately makes me mad. Why? Okay, so anyway. Well, I guess it's because. I guess the only real reason there is because they don't have any other commands. Because he has quarter circle forward A, he has quarter circle back A. What is this quarter for? Oh, that's right, it's quarter circle. Quarter circle. Quarter circle forward C is his teleport. What's quarter circle back C? I can't remember. Oh my god. I guess they do have pretty slow startup though. And he doesn't get to choose, like, because Show has four different versions of those, which obviously, as you can see, when I try to do that shit. Oh, okay, that's just command grab. It's really good command. That too, the addition to the command grab. Anyway, okay, I'm sorry. After that, after that distraction, what is so good about jump cancelable normals? So, a lot of people in this game, because of your one button DP, can you do? I didn't know you couldn't do. I did know that. I just, I don't know why it just didn't really register. Um, a lot of people just mash on DP, they just hold down the buttons, right? Just, you know, when they're in the middle of the block stun, because honestly, that's all you can do for a lot of scenarios. For, against a lot of characters, all you can really do is just lean on your DP until there's a tiny gap in the pressure, and then you blow them up out of it. So jump cancel, if somebody's doing that, I just baited out your DP, and I get whatever punish I desire. Let's say they're not, let's say I'm just getting far away. Oh, look at that, I just reset my pressure, and now I'm right back in. To where I want to be, and now I can continue to run my pressure. Let's say I'm right in here. Oh, look at that. I just ran some mix up on you. I just crossed you up. What are you going to do about it? Hope you blocked correctly. There's so many applications of jump cancelable normals that are so important for pressure and mix up that obviously now this character has it. Show doesn't. This character is far better. It's because of the, it's because of the command grab, it's because he has that, which also actually I believe it steals health and meter. I know it steals meter, I'm not sure if it steals health. But it does damage. I believe I don't know if he can combo off with a one more cancel. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. That would be something more knowledgeable Minazuki's would have to talk about. But yeah, it's just Man. I mean, like, honestly, if you're gonna use either one of them, if you're pure, I mean, see, like, for me personally, I enjoy this character more because I actually like his Rekka mix-up, and, um, I just like his combos more than I like his combos, but if you're looking at it purely from a which one is better perspective, I honestly don't see any reason to use Sho over Minazuki. So anyway, I need to show you guys a Fatal Counter combo. Cross my fingers. I did it three times in a like right before I started this. I did it three times in a row, and so we're gonna see if the curse of the camera fucks me up. Cause I, I just did it. Like I didn't. I fucked it up once. I fucked up the timing you know, of the Ford C, and then I got it three times in a row. Oops. I guess it would help to turn them off block. That might be useful. Let's reset that. Okay. 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 That didn't count because I stuttered. Fuck! Fuck, it was going so well. It was going so well. I did that too late, yeah. I always do that. 
either perfectly on time or just a fraction of a second too late. I always underestimate. Damn it, I missed the fourth C again. I always underestimate how much uh, hit stun his JB had. Oops, my bad. See, like I said, curse of the camera. I guess it also doesn't help that I'm fucking talking during all this. Removes focus! Boom! That does 6599 damage with the SB version. I believe it does like 64, maybe 60, like high, either low 6400 or high 6300. If you use the B version, if, in case anybody's wondering, the benefits to them are actually just you have more time afterwards. Well, just actually. So you just watch this one. You'll see him, I land behind him and I have less time to run mix up versus. I think that was a level zero. God damn it. Of a level zero too. Anyway, point being, he lands significantly earlier, so you have longer to set up a mix-up, and he also always lands in front of the opponent, so you'll never end up behind them. So that's the benefit. You don't really get much damage benefit, but it's just the placement benefit and the Oki benefit for using that extra 25 meter. And there's one other thing that I learned that is now rendered useless. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. I always manage to do. I always managed to do two until that one specific moment where I try to actually show it off. Damn it, I fucked it up. But anyway, that does like, you can do a third one. It does 76, 61, I want to say. But anyway, yeah, this is just a short video. I just wanted to let y'all know what the fuck was going on. Monsieur Ty! I will record one of our sets. I promise. I just, both of the times you have played me, it's been later at night. And I have not been able to record at that time. But even though I hate playing you, and I'll actually get into why in a second, the people deserve to see your Adachi, because you actually have a very strong Adachi. Um, but, so just to get into why I hate playing him. 95, and the reason why I kind of just hate playing this game in general, about 95% of the people that I play in this game fall into one of two categories. Either these people are just here... To what I mean, either they're just plain stupid, they're trolling, they have no interest in being good, they're just there to mash auto combos and see what happens. The level of player that you play against that you don't, you're not going to learn anything by beating them. They're they're basically no better than a CPU, so they're useless to play against. The flip side of that, the second version, the person that has put in more time than you, that knows the game more than you, and that actually knows matchups. So they just blow you up hard because you have no idea what's going on. And, you know, so just frankly, they are at a at such a higher level than you that it's actually not even beneficial to play them because they blow you up so hard that you just don't really learn anything in the process. And that's what Ty is to me. I suck at this game. He's good at this game. And I have no idea when I am allowed to actually do shit once Adachi puts me into block stun. Not a fucking clue. So... <laughs> It's just, you know, and both of those, they're just, they're not useful because all I can really do is just try to mash. Except you never know, like, is my mashing actually appropriate in this, like, if it works, was it actually appropriate in this scenario? Or did I just get lucky, you know, did they just back off because they were expecting a DP and I rolled instead? All these different scenarios, you just have no idea. And then the other 5% is that kind of person that's on a similar level to you, maybe slightly worse maybe slightly better but to a point where you can both fight each other back and forth and learn from each other and that kind of player is ridiculously rare so far in this game i have played maybe like tuck would be one of them he mentioned he thought i was talking shit about his naruto kami before but i wasn't uh but that's a person that like you know he's not great he's like me he's not great but there's the potential there just gotta play and learn and so playing against that kind of person would be beneficial to me but the problem is I don't even want to be benefited. I just, I, I don't know what I want from this game. I don't know if I should even continue recording. I just don't know. I should just play Katana. Is this Jesus? I don't even know. I don't even know what it is. I don't even care. It's dumb internet shit. <laughs> but still, like, this character is just so good that there's very little reason. Like, honestly, the only reason to not play this character is because you're not interested in playing the playstyle. That's it. 
Like, if you're looking for an effective, simple, incredibly strong character, welcome to your fucking character. Pick this dude. But yeah, I just, I don't actually know, like, real combos. I just know, like, like, that simple-ass shit, and then you get in the corner, and you can do, like, that, except you have to wait for longer. That actually did pretty damn good damage for being, like, a super basic. I guess I'm not particularly, so I do that a lot, though. Oh, I thought I nailed it that time. There we go, that shit. I know you can also do, um... There's something that he... Maybe it's off of... Hmm. I think that's it, actually, off of, like, that shit. Yeah, and then you can do the, that same loop that I just did, this shit. And then you finish with that. But yeah, I don't really know. That's 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 the extent of my knowledge with this character, except I just know that move is way too fucking good. That move is way too fucking good. That move is way too fucking good. This move is way too fucking good. I don't really understand how to use the down B normals in particular. Like, sometimes, see, like, right there, it just didn't fucking come out. Now nah, it did. I guess there's just a height requirement to it. This move is way too fucking good. This move is way too fucking good. This move is whatever. It's actually just a combo tool. This move is... Oops. That move is way too fucking good. Uh, this move is way too fucking good. Everything he has is way too fucking good. How do you do his... How do you do... No, no, no. I don't know how to do... I don't know. I think I, I needed to be in there for... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That was one of his trial combos, and I just gave up after, like, the fifth trial. I was like, man, this is stupid. I'm never gonna bother using this shit. But, uh, yeah, I just, I don't know, I may end up just using that dude, because in terms of looking at char the character at the cast, and just looking at, like, who is the most effective character that is also the simplest, by far it's you. There's no question about it, you and Minazuki are the two most effective characters that are just, that don't require a lot of effort to actually learn. Ken, kind of, sort of. He's another character that's kind of there, except the problem is he requires very specific usage this of Koromaru to keep himself safe against people at a higher level, whereas with Minazuki and Narukami, like, everything they do is safe anyway, so who really gives a shit? You don't really need to care about doing the perfectly proper thing at all times, whereas with Ken, like, you know, you have to have Koromaru supplementing you perfectly if you are playing somebody that knows the matchup. But yeah, I, just, I don't know where I'm gonna move forward with this. I don't know how it's gonna go down. Uh, but, you know, obviously my main interest is just providing entertaining content, and me just non-stop ripping the game is not going, that might be entertaining for like one or two videos, but nobody's gonna keep wanting to watch shit where I am just being depressed all the time. It's, that's just a very simple fact. So, I, I don't know if I'm gonna bother recording a lot of this. Obviously, I need to just play it some more and get some more experience and decide uh, upon what my game plan will be, but I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll just, we'll see. We'll see. I should not, I don't think I should have returned, honestly. I returned the, uh, the Xbox 360 version to Gamefly. I don't think I should have, because even though the population of that is vastly inferior to the population of this one, there's still, like, the connections on that were better overall. I don't actually know what it is, but almost every single... So, basically, in this game, my experience so far has been... Zero bar, don't even fucking bother, it's not even worth your time. One bar, there's like a 50% chance it'll be fine, and a 50% chance it'll suck. Two bars, pretty much like a 90% chance it'll be great. Three bars, there's like a 99% chance that it's gonna suck. I have no idea why. I shit you not, the aforementioned Tuck dude is the only player I have played with a 3-bar connection where the connection didn't suck. Every other 3-bar connection I have ever played has been terrible. Which obviously makes no sense. It's 3 bars, it should be the best. Well, not the best, obviously 4 bars would be the best, but 4 bars is pretty rare in America. 4 bars is Japan only, it's region locked. Outside of Japan, no 4 bar. No 4 bar. Way to be racist, Nate. Sure, people are gonna love that. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I should use Mitsuru. That's what I should do. Should use Mitsuru. Use bubblegum hair Mitsuru. And just press A. 
and just press A. Just press A. Do nothing but press A. Once it finishes loading, I will do nothing but press A. I will show you all my pro Mitsuru that I am ready to take to tournaments and win everything. Everything. Bam, 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 bam. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And then there's like, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I don't. I don't know from that. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, nope. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, nope. I think that is what you do, right? No, no, definitely not crouching C. Maybe crouching D. Crouching D is what you do. Shit. This character is harder than expected. Oops. I hit that link once. Oops. All my mates so really spam. Oops. Yo, where? Come on. <gasps> My Mitsuru experience isn't paying off, guys. Like, I have spent so long with this character. Okay, I don't even know if that shit... I don't even know if that shit fucking works. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Fuck this.